Of course, Horang in the Forgotten Realm against Julia. This could spell danger. Down three galore here from Yuzu B, non-stop. Looking to get that chip damage. And of course, poking is all about annoying the opponent, right? Taking a more patient approach is Musi B, running one. Looking for that opening. Oh, we're ready, friends. Alright, say no more. So that means I put the IGN on it. Uh huh, duck in. So yeah, that means Leno will be number two. And Tarmo. Tarmo will be, what do you call this? Tarma. Metal Slug. <laughs> will be, what do you call this? Number three. And then Devilish Jakey will be somewhere in between once Devilish Jakey is available. That was fast? No, I'm late. <laughs> I'm late, I'm late. It's already 8.50. I, was, I, I usually start around 8.30, 8.20. So we're, that's why... Oh, what's fast is getting the games in immediately, yes. DJ loves cheese. Because again, we're late, we're late. I'm late. <laughs> Not you guys, I am. <laughs> They're, all the other players were already on standby. Mm -hmm. I see. So Musi B has taken a completely different approach now. No. Mm hmm that's still counter hits. It's going to be big. One, two, three. Downstairs we go. Four, three, cancel. That's fine. Does that launch? It does. It's gonna spell more danger. Sidewall combo. Classic sidewall combo for Horang. One, two, four, RF is back three. Fight. Mm-hmm. Has the crown on top. Is this still game one, right? I, it doesn't feel like game one. <laughs> Maybe because it's so slow. Mm-hmm. So I'm just following Muse B's pace. Uh, I'm Lashing Arrow. It's been a while. Welcome back, Lashing Arrow. Yeah, you see? Yeah. Really different approach. So this is probably the new adjustment after all the many sets that have been played. Against the cheese. Standing four, downstairs, alright, back two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ended on the air raid! Ooh, the tip. The tip of the toe. Closing that one out. And my game just crashed. <laughs> so here we go in Twilight Conflict number two. So if we're gonna slay, play the slow pace, I'm fine with that. And that means it all boils down to one or two mistakes, typically. Yeah, going for safe mid checks as the time continues to drop. Nope. Copying Yonarang here, just go doing some down back fours by itself. Leave two. Oh no, that was all the way to the sky. However, that was not catching a duck. That was catching a button. Two slices of red cheese. Again, the cheese buffet is open, albeit a little bit late. Bow and arrow. Oh no, the DF2 catch in. This could push to the balcony. It does not. Oh, that's big. Does this connect? But when you know a lot of combos, you'll know a lot of cheese, and that connects over there. Beautiful step from Musa B. Non-stop pressure, but great find there for the wall standing one. Elbow sparks. SS2, one of my personal favorites from Julia. Augie loves that kind of cheese. Wall standing 4-4. Four, four. That could have been an FF1, maybe. Potentially. Lashing arrow all the way. Here you go, at the wall. Musa B's advantage. More lows. Goes for the R80, press a button, he did not! Round three. Fight. 2 0 again in the second game of the first set of the 61st edition of the Cheese Dojang. Again, home to the first of 2, 3, 4, 5, 10. Again, whatever you're game for, I'm game for. For again, as long as we can connect, that is the most important part. We gotta pray to the Cheese Gods that our connection is certified blue cheese. And so far, this match against Musa B, pure blue cheese. And there you go. That's what happens when you have pure blue cheese. You get that beautiful sidestep DF2-1 punish. 
Down one plus two. Out of the side wall, but into a new wall. FF1 crashing the party. That keeps hitting. Mm hmm. Down three, four. Great punish there. Going for the bow and arrow. Swap sides, nine seconds. Slashing arrow. I missed that. There's nothing I can do anymore, no? Yeah, come on. If it didn't trade the da down 3 4, didn't trade with the down jab, there would have been enough, uh, enough time to attempt a hell sweep for a, a basic 50 50. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's also fine. That's okay. Staying with the mids. Playing it safe. Oh no, DF2 almost launching there. Again, yeah, does not launch Crouchers. No duck. Plus one, more pluses. Negative two. Creating some space again. Big lead. 20 seconds though. Definitely doable here for Muse B. Miguel loves that kind of cheese. 12 seconds. No cheese keeper punish. Bow and arrow. Oh my goodness, RA goes for the rage drive, still alive! Oh wow, and five slices of great cheese from user B. Again, back one is not the best option against Winroll. You will get hit and punished by the Hell Sweep. The second hit will catch you. So my question is, with this changed approach, right? How willing are you to stay with the said adjustment? Because it's not a preferred playstyle. I remember seeing glimpses of this in the first few times, most especially in the times Muse B won in the Cheese Dojang. The thing is, it didn't stay as much. It was like more aggro keep out. And then it was like more after that, the next adjustment was like sure more if I wanted to push through. Fight. In fact, maybe I should put up a poll. Should we cancel Dojang exhibitions or do you actually want to play Tekken the night before? Uh huh. Back four, beautiful stuff. Of course, these these type of combos are gonna hurt me a lot more because Horang doesn't have a lot of guaranteed stuff on hit compared to Julia. Actually, I think this actually might favor the way Musa B is playing currently. It might this stage. Why cancel? What's on Monday? <laughs> as much as I don't wanna <laughs> fully talk about it, pretty important day. At least for people who are in the Philippines. Again, time check it is 9.10 in the evening, Philippine time. We've been live for about 25 minutes. I did start quite late today because Steam refused to cooperate with me. I think I started around 8... For, close to 8.50 really. It's pretty bad. We had a lot of, and all the players, all the Cheese Dojang players were already online. They were ready. Two of them messaged even prior to the stream that they want to get their slots. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's launch. But again, alas, a punish is a punish. Back four. If I win this, I'll feel like I robbed Musibi a little bit <laughs> with my game crashing. The rage drive with a dream. The dream was there, and you were gonna potentially end it on a rage art, and the you know the scale would go like crazy. Oh right, this that's not the only thing that's happening. It's also the multiverses. No, I will not be visiting the multiverses. I will visit it uh, in another way, though. <laughs> in a creative way, a creative way, right? <laughs> a DF two. All right, beautiful stuff. Yeah, it is more of a defensive focus thing. That's the changed adjustment. And then mixing it all with the other stuff, which is good. That's a really solid adjustment with information. Clyde loves cheese. With past information and like how to what to build to the future. The future. There's an artist named Future, right? What's his best what's his best song? Was it Mask Off? Mask off. Round 
If I have it right, if I have the song and the artist right, <laughs> I'm not sure if I do. <laughs> because I don't really update that often with music. Like my mu the music in my phone, right? Like when you're commuting, Troy loves cheese. It has always been the same for like quite a while. Like I I've added very few new songs to the phone. The rest, I just listen it, listen to it on like YouTube or like Spotify, and that's enough. Mm hmm. Can magic for me there after the bad, uh, the back four again? The back four of Julia is plus one. This is a, this is truly a drawn out game. Oh no, that's two errors in a row. I'm not gonna trust my execution there. Beautiful. I'll probably put up the poll after this set. Yeah, that's what I'll do. After this set. That way I don't out-tab of Tekken and it, what do you call this, potentially crashes. If out-tabbing was the reason, but I have no idea what the reason was there. But that's two crashes early and there you go, WrestleMania. Julia remembering her times as the wrestler JC. Maybe a counter hit to the face. Channeling the inner Steve Fox will do, but no, alas, crashing the party. And tightening up that arrow all the way from downtown is Legolas. Travis loves that kind of cheese. DF2. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh no, I'm dead. Alright, so Music B re earning. It did it again! Oh no. Fight. But I couldn't access the Frontier account at all. Like, it took forever. Ooh. No, no punish on the negative 16. So I like the new defensive approach, right? It fits what Musabi wants to do and then being able to mix it with the offense and neutral at the right moments. That's the most important part, being able to do it at the right moments. What's missing is punishment. You gotta get consistent punishment, even if it's not optimal. Like a punish is a punish, that's what, that's what matters the most. Ooh, war drum. Okay, 19 seconds. Oh, orbital heal! Oh no, orbital heal! Channeling the inner Brian Fury. Five slices of great cheese. Round two. Again, we're only in the first set, and that's four crashes for tonight. What kind of record in terms of number of crashes for Tekken can we get? I'm not hoping to get any higher than what we're already at. But place your bets. <laughs> Winner doesn't really get much. <laughs> Just bragging right. Back three, flip over, all right. That is an okay trade, I guess, for the most part. Mm -hmm. Lashing arrow, rage drive in a dream, similar situation. Hopefully the game just does not crash there. DF1 plus two challenging the frames. It is indeed a state of mind. 25 seconds left, spends the drive. Lashing arrow. Ooh, but sidestep 3-3 three, three, avoiding that grab. Yeah, I can see it. If punishment is here, in Musebee's kit, with everything else that's, you know, interconnected, it's gonna be great. You can, add, like, advance to the next level already. Mm hmm That's okay. We good. That's okay. That's fine. That's also fine. Chip damage. That's okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Are you that kind of guy? Do it. I dare you. I double dare you. Win by doing simply FC4. Sayang. RA? 3 1. Okay. Game, don't crash on me now. <laughs> Pray. <laughs> what else would they be? I don't know a top tier character who is weak. Is there a top tier character that's weak? I'm not sure. Never really encountered one. They typically have an edge over the cast, usually. Or perform a lot of things better than other characters in the cast. That's how top tiers typically are. And then of course above top tier is like broken, right? They they break the mechanics of the game. Or they just simply do too much damage or have an unfair mix-up, so to speak. Okay. 
That's maximizing the frames. I could have went for a punish there. Beautiful stuff here from Yuzu B. Staying patient. However, no punish on the running one. 11 seconds. 10 seconds. Double cheese keeper. For two slices of red cheese. Paying the bills with cheese keepers. Orbital heal. Ooh, avoiding the party crasher. This is not going to do a lot of damage. However, early damage lead is important in this exact set and how it's being played before okay uh -huh. again the farther the lashing arrow is the more plus it is df1 that's fine oh bowel i wasn't still in what do you call it flamingo because there's a certain period of time while you're in rfs and in lfs where you already go back to lff or rff I think it's like half a uh, one full second. That's why I stand switch into RFF there. KO. Again, welcome Round to Cheese three. Dojang. Home to the first of two, three, four, five, ten. Again, whatever you're game for, I'm game for. For again, as long as we can connect and my game does not crash <laughs> for the most part. So far, the connection has been great, but my game has not been. By game, I mean not the way I'm playing, but the <laughs> the application itself. It refuses to run. Mm, good interrupt there, frame-wise. Oh, beautiful stuff. It's small, sub subtle stuff like that to give you an edge. But I need the reason. Like, say Huang is top tier because he can juggle you longer. No! Akuma can juggle you longer than Huang can. So can Lars. Because they're, again, Lars, Lars as well carries crazy, right? So is Julia. And Akuma can just juggle you forever and even get resets. Most especially if there's a wall nearby. Orang can potentially become a top tier, provided you, he has the right pilot with him. By pilot, I mean player. Wow, what a clean whiff punish here from user B. Running 2 1. Okay. Beautiful interrupt. Again, down back four is negative on hit. It is potentially it. Still not. Great patience there. One, two, punish on the spring kick. Final round. Fight. Mm -hmm. that, that low of yours is also negative. Interrupt? Ah, no interrupt. Mm-hmm, JFSR missed its mark there, did duck there, got hit by the DF4. That's sweet. That's fine. Lashing arrow? No, no lashing arrow. Lashing arrow, running one. Ooh, short while standing three, albeit it being really long. It was not long enough there. Mm-hmm, used to be slowing it down again. Just chipping away. I'm looking for that one opening. There you go, just like that. Found the opening with the back four and gonna seal the deal. For two slices of red cheese. Voted no. Do they sell that anywhere? I agree. Probably not. Fight. Mm hmm Chipping with the lows. You go for the low risk, low reward. And most especially if it's standing low, you can mask it with your mids and highs. Ah, beautiful, I like that. Shotgun cancel into back three. Going for big damage now. Oh, beautiful. Instead of sidestep DF2-1, sidestep 4, that could work too against RFF DF4. Beautiful options, that's anti horang at its finest. Maximizing the frames there. I'll bet I would like to see punishment. Nice, beautiful stuff. Okay. So you do want to get this set completed, but still playing within the same pace. Quite slow. And it only takes two or three mistakes. Well, more or less one for the most part. One big mistake, one big launch to give your opponent all the momentum and Okizeme they need for that round. 
No. Okay. Wardrum unsuccessful there. LFS 43 getting Frontier out of that situation. DF2. More mids from Music B. Strings. Strings. Okay, still alive. Back three flip over. No need to fully commit there. 20 seconds. Rage drive and a dream from Music B. Spends the drive. 11 seconds. Simply a dream. Go to www.howtotekken7buildings.com and get one. <laughs> How much do they sell it for, you think? How much cheese should I give them? I'd say 1,000 slices of cheese would do. I think that's a fair deal. Oh, can't you can't break a throw there if you're ca caught in a power crush. Because again, power crushes do lose to grabs and lows. Parting, crashing the party again is Music B. Beautiful down jab. Mm hmm. Mid check. That's why the one thing I wanted to learn from Julia was the DF2. Because it's annoying. <laughs> 2.34. Uh, so I have to give them high. A che cheese cheese pie. So cheese in the shape of pie. I don't have to necessarily give them 2.34 tons. I just have to say, here you go. It, this is equivalent to 2.34 tons of cheese. No. Lashing arrow. DF2. Okay, back one plus two. That's fine. Oh, good. However, the closer I am to the wall, a little bit more danger exists. Most especially with the Julia Wardrum. Mm hmm, there you go. Finding a way out. I did not press a button. I was waiting at the last second of Flamingo. Although, no, if Music like B did reliable options Huang has against opponents who have Rage and they're going to press their Rage Art. So it becomes really simple. So if you have enough HP to tank an LFS back one... ...and an RFS F4... Go spend, go spend your, what do you call it, Rage Art immediately, the moment the leg is up. Most especially on block. Fight. But of course, that's hard to commit to. Very difficult to commit to. And Musa B committing to one of the hardest things in down 4-1. Similar to Law down 2-3. But it's paying dividends for him. Here you go. Keeping Frontier at the wall. Bow and arrow. Catches the tech. Seven slices of perfect cheese for that one. Since when was he a carry character? Well, I guess it depends on the level you're looking at it, right? Because let's say, maybe low-high could still be considered, like high-low level. So if you divide each level into three parts, so let's say low-mid-high, right? And then there's low-low, low-mid, low-high. Mid-low, mid-mid, mid-high. Brian loves cheese. And then high-low, high-mid, high-high. You get it, right? Uh, maybe up to high-low that could be considered. But there's no way that can be considered in high-mid, high-high. But I don't, I don't, I, I could see it, but Round four. I don't know, man. I never got that. I never felt the carry, the command listing, the ability to like, you know, I had to earn, I had to earn it all. It was only once I had it that I could finally do the stuff. Where I'm like, oh, this is what you call this. Getting down three fours for free. No, okay. Because again, my cheese dojang losses here. From high high players. Uh, I'm the one who's losing a lot. And the one, you know, <laughs> like trying to keep my neutral and doing a bunch of a bunch of DF1s and staying safe. I'll read the second half of it, the the comment later, sir. I only saw the first half. Ooh! We're going for another half against Musa B, and yes we are. Four to three. 
How do you hold down four? How do you hold down four? What a long waiting time to get here. Fight. Hopefully I didn't forget what's been happening in this set. Yuzubi getting a little bit aggro right now. There you go, gets it. Has the secret sauce of Soya Bean Curd. Big damage, half-life, almost half-life. Good break. Flashing arrow, running one. Mm -hmm, no punish again. That's the one I want to see get connected. Because other play styles and other strategies have been getting connected, but not the punishment part. Mm -hmm, DF1-3. It's not going to put me in the best of positions. Yep. Yeah. It's not Round going two. to. Fight. One, two. All right. Beautiful. Leaving the pluses more up in the air. Just wanted to see the reaction of the opponent. And so far, I'm used to be backdashing away. One of the best ways to avoid the Horang things. There you go, DF2 being an um, annoying <laughs> little thing. 4-3. Oh, punish. Power crushing another power crush. You don't see that often. Am I in a distance where... Running one. There you go. Backlash. Mm hmm. That is a one break. One break. Okay. Up the plus four does not work there. Channeling the inner Brian Fury. But how about Steve Fox? Never mind. I get hit for channeling, trying to become a boxer in a taekwondo style. <laughs> oh no, I would delay again. Secret sauce from Poop Dog. Is there someone waiting? Yes, there is. There is Leno and Tarmo. JC, I see you. KO. All right, sneak, sneaking the way into for all. Round one. Fight. So for the most part, I need to grab a round. Is that a trade I'll live with? Yeah, that's a trade I can live with. Beautiful. I think I don't. I don't think I'm getting exhausted physically. Probably mentally. <laughs> It's also if you can handle, like, waiting long for a game. If there is a we- if there is this weekend, uh, Jake. Oops. Well, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. No, just this- just this Sunday. This part- this, this particular Sunday. Because next week's big. And also this weekend is big. You know, you have to visit the multiverses of madness. KO. The many multiverses of Tekken, so you'll watch Tekken Hybrid. Fight. A Tekken Hybrid buff? Tekken Bloodline, right? <laughs> was the, what was the movie? Bloodline. Wait, it was, right? Was it called Bloodline? I just know it came from the hybrid disc. That's where you had the prologue of Tekken Tag 2. And it had like a cool Devil Jin. It had the cool Devil Jin and Kazuya. Outfits that we will never get. Never get. Ryuta loves cheese. Why not? I'm heading out. It's time to go to Warzone. Ling has now joined uh, the armed forces. Not only am I beating up people with AOP, I'm now using a gun. <laughs> And then when she, when she comes back from her duties, she's gonna meet Horang here in the Cheese Dojo and be like, Horang, you may be able to hit me out of AOP, but I'm not out of options. <laughs> you know that meme? Sasuke, <laughs> I may be out of chakra, but I'm not out of options. <laughs> back four. While standing four four. All right, no step there. Oh, that late end of the power crush, really? You still had time to... You still had time to grab there? Huh, I did not expect that. Div 2. Are you teching? Okay. But that's going to be big. Do I have? Yes, I do. Knowing the cheese for more slices of red cheese. This could be it. For all a piece. Frontier ahead, but Muse B right in the rear view mirror. Flashing arrow. Oh no. Big counter hit. 
And I'm off axis, so that means... Oh, okay. Didn't want being up for the 1 plus 2 or the DF1 to get an FF3. Duck. Okay. Was that a good decision for me? I guess not. Nice, solid stuff. In the meantime, in the meantime. <laughs> then you'll equip the gun item in Tekken. <laughs> That's what you're gonna bring. And then you're gonna use it. That's how I'm gonna win a round. Frontier won't see it coming. He didn't play Warzone after all. <laughs> I mean, Lar imagine if Lars could do what he did in story mode, right? Other Tekken characters wouldn't stand a chance. That's zoning 101. Ooh, big counter hit. Back three conversion here. Opting for the wind roll, sidestep two. But Frontier looking to get that damage back. Ending it on the Peacekeeper, Okizeme. However, RFF DF4 short. 15 seconds has rage. Ooh! And Frontier paid the price, made one really big, 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 big mistake. And Musa B going to take it over Frontier. Five to four. Again, good games to Musa B. Good games. Oh, or not. What happened there? What happened there? That kind of sucks. The shoulder might might have won, really. <laughs>